is coming. Where is our wife? We are sitting at home. Hi guys, it's your boy from Kenneth and welcome back to the channel. It's the new year, this is not my actual scene number for my as you can look here. That is the tape. I normally like hold my phone against the window so and do my videos and from the tell of this, this is not a financial video and I've been trying to do this video for a very long time but noises in the house and just crazy life stuff have basically prevented me from yeah filming the video fast. Does that make sense? And just me to just talk with you guys freely and just do like a casual video. In a very long time so this might be like a mini vlog in a way so in terms of like value uh, um yeah just enjoy so guys valentine is coming i hope that you guys out there have special plans and yeah don't also beat yourself up like it's just a day and basically it's a fantasy and if you are an extremist you could say it's just a play by capitalists to make more money yeah so just look at it in those ways if you don't have a vow but if you have a vow please go out go out to the extent that you can if you can do some certain things please don't do it i'd rather you save your money and wait till you find your one true love and not just a wimp or a one night stand and again please buy condom use condom wear condom right be careful out there i just watched or i listened to the podcast i said what i said and they said um prevention is better than school fees right <laughs> so yeah if you're not ready to pay school fees please don't go and do anything you want to go and do it's valentine and it doesn't mean that it's an excuse for you to fornicate freely you know if you're a christian if you're not a christian yeah whatever please do what you want to do but please be also be careful and make sure it's the right thing you want to do at the same time anyway i wanted to like talk more on this thing that i've read I read like today, I read it today. So there is this story about a an Igbo man in quotes, because we don't know if that Igbo man is real, wanting to do a Kara for that was making twenty thousand naira per month and ended up making a million naira monthly after four years of hawking gala. So selling or like or not, selling food roadside food basically and from there he was able to like navigate and mitigate the risk of all that and build a structure where he was able to maximize his profit and employ more people like up to 100 people in his distribution network and he was able to use that to make the 1 million naira and the thing is the guy also mentioned or the storyteller also mentioned that this particular person was also selling um goods that were close to expiry right so he get discounts on goods that are close to expiry and tries to sell them before they expire but all of this is life and sometimes some things don't go into plan right and again there's no reg regulator regulating this person so as much as that story is inspiring it's also triggering in the way that if this was america it wouldn't happen there are a lot of regulations in place and that is also a health risk so i think we should be careful about celebrating stories that we do not know nothing about to be honest because that is not worth celebrating i mean yeah one million kudos to you but then how did you get the money those kind of things anyway it is just meant to be a short video valentine is coming hopefully i do a video about like the best places to go or the best spots in abuja for valentine while i'm here but if i don't do it see you in my next video guys stay safe